Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gizmo and in today's video I'm unboxing and reviewing the Cololite Triangles. These are, as the name suggests, triangular shaped modular RGB panels. Now these are very similar to the Nano Leaf panels. However, these go one step further. These can be connected at the corners as well as the sides, allowing you to create some amazing shapes and patterns currently not possible with the nano leaves. As always, please leave any questions or feedback in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you. Now let's kick things off with a quick unboxing. So for this review, I have the six panel color light triangle kit. Now you can get additional kits which are called extension kits and they have three additional panels per kit. So inside the box, you get a user manual, which is, I have to say, well written and easy to understand. You get six color light triangles, a packet of 3M sticky strips for mounting the panels to the wall, as well as some connecting plates as well. This is the controller unit. You get a Y-shaped audio connector. This is the power lead for the plug and a 3.5 millimeter audio cable and of course the power plug. So let's take a look at some of the items in the box. So you get 20 3M strips. These are double sided pads to mount the panels to the wall. Now it's not advisable to use these if you're planning on mounting the panels to the ceiling. You also get six connecting plates which have arrows indicating the direction you need to actually install the panels. This is the external controller unit. The buttons are clicky. It's used to control the panels instead of using the color light app. You can do things from putting it into a music mode, changing the colors, the brightness. It's also got a 3.5 mil input jack as well. So this is the color light triangle. Now this looks very similar to the Nanoleaf panels. However, this has one amazing advantage over the Nanoleaf. So at the back, as you can see, you've got six connecting points. Now the Nanoleaf does not have any connecting points at the corners. And by having connecting points at the corners, you can do this. You can join them and create some really unique shapes and patterns, which is not currently possible with the Nanoleaf. Now I currently have some nano leaves set up on my wall behind my monitor. Now in terms of size comparison, I want to just uh, show you what the color light triangle looks against a nano leaf. Now in terms of measurements, the nano leaf panels are approximately 21 centimeters by 24 centimeters and approximately one centimeter thick. The color light triangles are approximately 16 centimeters by 17.2 centimeters and approximately 0.8 centimeter thick. The color light triangles offer 16 million different colors per panel. You can also buy additional extension kits to make even more bigger and more unique patterns. You can control the panels using a whole host of uh, different methods. For example, the included physical controller, the color light app. It's also compatible with Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, and the Elgato Stream Deck. And now it's also compatible with Razer Synapse, which I will demonstrate a little later. So setting up the color light triangles is very easy. To demonstrate this, I will create a simple shape using six panels. Now remember, when uh, connecting the panels to follow the direction of the arrows on the small connecting plates. Now I'm going to connect all of the panels on my desk for this demonstration. Uh, also, I'm going to connect the controller unit and of course the power unit as well. So once everything's connected, all that's remaining is to turn the power on. And there you are, as you can see, the color light triangles is turned on. The colors look really vibrant, really bright, and I have to say really uniform as well. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. 
So let's take a closer look at the physical color light controller. So here we can change the colors. We can cycle through the various predefined animations. Now there are four buttons on the controller. If you refer back to the instruction manual, it tells you what each of those buttons do. Essentially, you've got a music mode button, you've got a sport and dynamic button, you've got the on and off button, and there's another button that allows you to basically change the brightness of the panels as well. It's actually really good, you know, really easy to use. The buttons are quite clicky instead of being touch sensitive, so you know when you're actually pressing something. Now I have to admit I'm really impressed with the colours on the colour light. They're very bright, very vibrant and it's really uniform throughout the panels as well. Now as well as the physical controller, another good way of controlling the colour light panels is through the colour light app, which again is really easy to use. Now I already use the colour light app because I've got a whole lot of colour light devices in my setup including behind my ultra wide I have the color light RGB light strips and it's already set up so as you can see I'm just demonstrating how easy the app is to control the actual color light lights all you do is just a matter of swiping left or right up and down to basically control the various lighting effects so I will go through some of the features of the color light app in more detail a little later but over here, I have another color light device. This is the color light pro. These are hexagonal shaped RGB panels. Again, it's set up for the app and it's really easy to control as well. Changing colors and various dynamic effects is just easy as swiping your finger on the phone. And these colors again and the panels, they're really nice, really bright, and you can make some amazing shapes and patterns. Now, did I mention I also have color light panels inside my PC case? Yes, inside the actual case. So these are USB powered and I've basically installed three Pro panels inside the PC case and they're just connected to the case via USB. Now, behind the case, I also have another color light RGB light strip, which I'll just be demonstrating some of the lighting effect now. So if you just see just around the edges of the case there's a glow that's basically an RGB light strip and you can see again changing the colors and the dynamic effects it's really really easy it's just a swipe of a finger on the phone and it's so easy to control so I'm now going to demonstrate just how easy it is to set up the color light triangles to the color light app now if you can't find the triangles in your app then you may have to update the app this is basically what happened to me the triangles weren't showing up initially after an update i could see the triangles as you can see on the screen then setting up is really easy click on the triangles follow the instructions on the screen you will need to connect the panels to your wi-fi and it only supports 2.4 gigahertz now to begin the installation process or the pairing process you hold down the power button on the controller for five seconds until the panels change to blue as you can see in a second there you are once you've done that just check the box on the screen and click next and then just follow the on-screen instructions you're going to have to connect the panels to your wi-fi so you'll have to type in your Wi-Fi password, which I will do in a second off screen. And there you are. Once it's done that, just follow the instruction and then the app will basically just do its thing and connect the color light panels together. The whole process, to be honest, is seamless and easy. It only involves a few clicks. There isn't much you have to do. It's just it's, it's automated more or less. Once the pairing is complete, if you just click on next and then you can name the color light, you can give it whatever name you want, click done and that's it. The app is now paired to the color light triangles and you can go ahead and 
create some dynamic effects, change the colors and so forth. The app has some really nice predefined dynamic effects and my favorite by far is uh, the rainbow effect. So let's take a closer look at the app itself, the Colorlight app. It's really easy to use. From the top menu, it lists basically all of the Colorlight devices that you've paired with it, and then you can group them together so everything can be controlled at the same time as well. Along the bottom, you've got some simple menus to add new device, to add new groups. If I just give you a quick demonstration, so I'm currently controlling the triangles. You can go up and down to basically change the various predefined colors and then on the bottom right hand side you've got another menu section for the brightness you can turn it off you can bring up all of the colors at the same time and then select the one you want and that will change the color of the panels you can also select a music mode and select whether you want to use the phone's microphone or the mic on the actual you know controller unit itself if you swipe right you can then come to the dynamic effects if these are the predefined built-in dynamic effects again you change by swiping up and down and you've got various built-in predefined effects as I said previously my favorite is the rainbow and again the menu system is very similar on the bottom right corner except you have a, another additional control to basically change the speed of the animation as well and as before you can bring up all of the animation at the same time and just click on the one that you want to change it to the panel if you swipe all the way to the right as well you've got ability to basically create your own dynamic effects likewise you can create various static effects as well again really easy to do just follow the on-screen instructions it's really intuitive it's a really nice app really simple app not complicated to use and really useful as well the color light triangles like many other rgb devices has a music sync mode now traditionally the way this works is by using the microphone on either your phone or a microphone built into the controller unit. Now the triangles tries to improve this by having a 3.5mm audio input jack into the actual controller. So what this allows you to do is have the music feed go directly into the controller so any background sound or noise doesn't interfere with the music syncing to the lights. It's actually a really neat idea. You may recall earlier I said the Elgato Stream Deck can also be used to control the color lights. If you don't know what a Stream Deck is, just do a quick Google search. This is the device. This is the Stream Deck by a company called Elgato. It's really popular with streamers but it's capable of doing so much more. So you can link your color lights to be controlled via the Stream Deck. Then you can do things like simple things, turning it on and off changing colors, changing dynamic effects, turning on the music mode, or controlling the brightness. Now there are so many different ways of controlling and using the color lights. You know, we've looked at the Stream Deck, for example, the physical controller, the app, Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant. There is also another way. If you're a Razer fan, you can now integrate Hollow lights into Razer Synapse. Now, if like me you're a massive fan of Razer, you'll love the fact that now you can integrate and control all of your color light devices from Razer Synapse. Now, I've got this system already set up. As you can see, the color light module is showing up on Synapse. But the process to do this is really, really easy. You need to go to the Razer Chroma Workshop website and download 
the color light chroma connector module once you download and install this run the piece of software is called color light chroma connector so this is what the color light chroma connector software looks like when you run the software it will automatically scan and show all of the color light devices that you have you can do simple things from within the software like turning devices on and off changing brightness and you can also select all or individual items to be razor chroma enabled so just to give you a quick demonstration of the software in action here i am turning on and off the color light pro hex panels as you can see it's really quick the connections almost instant and same again for the color light triangles i'll just turn them on and off using the connector software and again really quick so i'm going to now flick the switch to control all of the devices via razor chroma and then i'm going to head back to the razor synapse app and you can see the module showing up under connected devices there you go you can everything's there it's now ready to go so just to give you a quick demonstration if i start changing some of the colors all of the devices should sync together and change so i'm going to demonstrate that now so i've got the color light pros i've got the triangles and i've got the rgb strip behind the ultra wide and i just select some colors there you go all of the colors is just it's on a cycle mode and all that is being controlled from razor synapse that's really cool Again, the colors are really vibrant you know everything's quick there's no lag or anything like that it's quite nice and smooth so let's do a quick basic demonstration using some razor products so here I have the black widow mini v3 keyboard and the razor mamba mouse and we'll just do a quick demonstration to show all of the color lights and the razor products can basically change and be controlled together within synapse now i have to say i'm really pleased with the way this works and uh, as you know you can create some amazing lighting effects using razor chroma well there you are folks we've covered quite a few different ways of controlling the color lights from the simple controller that it comes with to the color light app to the elgato stream deck i know we haven't demonstrated it but you can also use google assistant and amazon alexa and of course my favorite you can integrate it and control it with razor chroma honestly i can't wait to see what the wider rgb community if you like you know make with the chroma integration i bet they create some amazing setups i can't wait to see that overall i have to say that i'm really pleased with the color light triangles i really like the fact that the colors are bright vibrant and they're uniform throughout the panels as well i really like the fact that you can connect the panels at the corners this allows you to create some rather unique designs and shapes and this may give them an advantage over the nano leaf what do you think do you prefer the nano leaf or the color light triangles let me know in the comments below well folks we've come to the end of another video thank you so much for watching any questions feedback please leave them in the comments and i'll do my best to come back to you if you've enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing until next time folks i'll see you soon take care